Welcome back, you guys. Today, I want to talk to you about the importance I have come to realize of having a life coach. And I'm not saying this just to promote. I'm saying this from my own personal experience because I myself have just hired a coach again for myself because I do not like the feeling of not having a coach. I don't. I don't know... To be honest, if maybe it, like, boils down to, like, a codependency thing or something, the fact that I feel like I need that support, even if that's the case, it makes me feel good. And so, I don't see an issue with that. It makes me feel good, and I feel good about it because I see the change, the drastic change that having a coach has on my life versus the, I guess you could say, like, procrastination that my life has when I don't have a coach. And even that being said, I am a very, I am very, very much a go-getter. I don't procrastinate very much. And yet, I still need, I feel like, that extra support of having a coach. I've noticed that when I don't have a coach, I feel this sense of just kind of like not security. Like, have you, the best way I can think to explain is have you ever been on birth control, for an example, and you go off of it, like whether it's for a medical reason or whatnot, you go off of it for a little bit. Do you know how that feels? Can you explain that feeling? I mean, you feel just like not safe at all. You feel like you literally just lost this layer of security that you had. And it's, you're just, you feel so vulnerable. You feel like, what if something happens? And I don't want to sit, you know, live by what if. I literally just did an episode on this, but you know, terrible things happen. That's kind of the reason that I was on it for so long is because I just don't trust the world that we live in. And if something were to happen, I cannot, I cannot outsource the risk (laughs) of if that happened. And I think the wiser decision is to play it safe. You know, I'm not trying to make it hold Uh, packed right now on why you need to go on birth control but that's how I also look at coaching in the same way that what if I am making the absolute worst decision of my life by not having the support in the areas that I need it because I don't think that I can trust myself to hold myself accountable because based on evidence myself, I haven't, I haven't based on seeing the results that a coach gives me in my life and then seeing the accountability that I have for myself, there is no comparison, even with me being extremely, um, disciplined, there is just no comparison. And I've also noticed that going, like, or not having a coach anymore feels a lot like if you're the type of person who carries a gun a lot and then you quit carrying a gun, whether it's, you know, for whatever reason that might be, whether it's just you forgot it or um, views, whatever, if you quit carrying the gun, do you not feel extremely vulnerable? Do you not just feel like you just kind of left your biggest asset you have? You feel, I can't even explain, like if you know, you know, this level of just vulnerability that you feel, it is so unsettling and you just feel like you just 
let down like everybody in your life by basically, yeah, like just doing away with this entire level of or layer of protection of like what if something happens to you, if something happens to your family. I, I my point is this is how I view having a coach. This is totally and completely how I view having a coach. Because when you are on your A game and you are doing all the things that you need to be doing in your life, you are on top of everything. You are, you know, making the steps you need to be making the income that you need to provide. I just can't imagine like how anyone could justify not <laughs> taking that route. You know what I mean? How do you justify not? What possible excuse could you come up with that justifies taking the route the route that has less income, that has less fulfillment, that will give you less abundance in like every aspect I just cannot imagine how you justify that you know so that being said this is why I fully support having a life coach fully 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 support I cannot encourage enough how much it has changed my life. Absolutely changed my my life. This will be, I think, my third coach that I will have signed up with. Because most coaches, the way that you do it is it's, you know, um, signing up for just like a certain amount of time. Because you want to go hard rather than for the long term. You know, you want to go in and like get that thing changed, get started on it, and then let them go because knowing that there's a time limit is going to make you change. Whereas people honestly will pay, you know, every, every week, every month, whatever, and just keep doing it. It's, it's, I could do a whole nother episode on this breaking down how that works. But anyway, the moral of it, yeah, is you need to get in there and you need to get it done. And that's the thing I realized, like, I do get it done. I believe me, I do. But I just, I get so much done that I cannot, I feel like, outsource the amount that I get done (laughs) on my own without a coach. And so therein lies the reason that I highly, highly encourage you to look into getting a coach. If you are interested in you know, seeing what this is about, how this works. Is it a good fit for you? I highly encourage you to book a free discovery call with me. The link is in the description below. Um, And you can also check out me on almost any social media platform at Make Waves Coach for my free inspirational coaching content. Also, Check out me on almost any social media platform at Mermaid Cassandra, as I'm a professional mermaid. It's pretty cool. It's it's my dream job, and my dream job led me into coaching. It's absolutely wild. I could maybe do an entire episode on that, too. Just if you guys want, let me know in the comments below. (laughs) And um, what's another thing? Oh, also, check out my podcast. It's Make Waves, Mermaid Cassandra, available every place podcasts are found. Sorry, my voice, I feel like, is literally giving out on me. (laughs) I feel like I'm trying out, I'm trying to be out here, like, being vocal, and then my voice is just like, ah! (laughs) It's been a long weekend. It's been a really, really long weekend. It's been a holiday weekend for me as I'm recording this, so... Bear with me. Please know that I'm doing better than I sound at this at the moment. 
I will talk to you guys soon. Go out there and make waves. Mwah.